There you go. <laughs> Welcome back. Hey, you know, on July the 9th at Throgs Neck Volunteer Ambulance Corps, they're going to hold a summer health fair. They're going to teach everything, CPR, all that stuff. And joining us with all the details, we have Special Events Coordinator Erica Newsom. Give her a big hand, everybody. The coordinator is in the house. <laughs> So tell us about what you guys are doing. It's a volunteer ambulance corps that's been in effect in the Bronx for how long? Uh, 37 years. It started Ooh, May okay. of 1978. Wow. 79. Yeah. So, and you guys, you experience all kinds of things. You, you go to different uh, events, gunshot wounds, all of that stuff, heart <laughs> attacks. Uh, we do actually a little bit of everything. Definitely working with the community. The whole purpose of the volunteer ambulance corps to come up was our, the response time of the city usually they get overwhelmed. There's lots of things going on, but we're in the community itself. Yeah. So the members of the community can actually call us directly instead of calling 911 and get the same services that they would get and the immediate work and at the AMTs who are certified yeah. and people who really want to be in the community to support them. And you have a number of buses. Yeah, we actually ambulances. have two. Yes. yes. We have two, uh, two functioning ambulances right now. And uh, we go from doing the emergencies and sometimes our ambulances are actually out in the community doing special events mm -hmm. and working with the different organizations to do yeah. our education. Erica, what are the most calls you get if you know you can recognize those type of calls? Is it asthma or you know? It's definitely the it, difficulty breathing is one of the bigger ones. I'm also I just took a guess. I yes. you know is, th is that it? Yes. Yes. It's uh, definitely the difficulty breathing or the occasional, if there's somebody out in the Little League field that ends up falling down yeah. and the occasional uh, car accident that happens directly right by our area where we're able to give them the service they need immediately. Yeah. Give us a quick tip. Somebody mm -hmm. can't breathe. What, what do you do? You guys pull up and they have trouble breathing. Well, we always we ca we actually carry oxygen with us. We work with the people. A lot of the time, it's also calming someone down. They can just have gone through a traumatic event or something that happened. So yeah. actually talking to them calmly and letting them know that we're there for them. We're qualified professionals, and we're there to help them out. And we actually are able to assess the situation, mm -hmm. see if we need paramedics, see if they need to be rushed immediately, and both we can provide for them. And this is the universal sign of someone choking. <laughs> <laughs> because the hands always go to their throat. Mm -hmm. And then what do you do if you see that? Actually, uh, the first thing is make sure they're breathing, give them the space, and either check if they were eating, if they're, it's in a restaurant, obviously you're looking for something right. that's actually stuck in the throat. If not, do they have a history of breathing? Is it also heart related? Because sometimes you may be going this way, but it's really yeah. a heart condition. and. So Just if you see that in a restaurant, what, what do you have to do? You have to perform something? The Heimlich, well, well it was the Heimlich maneuver, but it's pretty much just now that making sure that the, uh, the actual foreign object is it's taken out as soon as possible. And yeah. usually in every restaurant, they'll have on the wall the actual steps. So someone that has no experience whatsoever mm -hmm. is able to jump in and read and see and try to help out someone who's there. That's great. We're <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now you speak about resp response time. How important yes. is that? It makes a huge difference, especially for things when you're looking at uh, a stroke or mm -hmm. especially for cardiac. Timing is makes the big difference. And the idea that uh, we can actually be there and transport them to the additional medical help or transport them directly to the hospital where they can get the help makes a big difference. It's also, mm. again, in case there's something going on with someone has rapid bleeding or they need wound care immediately, we can hold that down. But there's a big difference between an ambulance and any kind of ambulance and being in an ER, being able yes. to be rushed to uh, surgery and be, give them that chance that they need just because of the time. The time is very important, yes. especially when you're also dealing with stroke. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you have a big event coming up July yes, 9th. Tell us about it. Uh, it's the Summer Health Fair. And what we have, it's a little bit of everything. We actually oh. have invited health and wellness vendors. We also invited uh, health providers from the community. And we ourselves are also participating. We're giving blood pressure screenings. Uh, we're actually working with the children where they're able to go inside an actual ambulance. We don't want their first interaction with an ambulance to be so something scary. Yeah. They actually get to see 
what's going on, what's there. They'll be able to uh, try on our actual equipment, take pictures, and it's a lot of letting the community know that we're there and at the same time providing them the ability to find out where they're at. There's also someone doing weight loss consult consultation and we're working with the urgent care to support them as CPR well. CPR demonstrations? Right? Not only is there a CPR demonstration, but we also do have a limited space for CPR class. So yeah. people can actually sign up for the classes, uh, pay for the classes online, and they'll walk out after the, the fair with their actual official certification. Very good. There you go. Where can we go for more information? Uh, right now, uh, most of our fundraising, we're in the middle of, of updating our website, but we have a TNVAC fundraiser.com mm -hmm. sure. and also by calling our base at 718-430-9501 uh, and in case of emergency someone who's in the Throgsnack area can actually call 718-430-9500 and get the emergency care they need. She should be your friend. You never know what's going to happen. Give her another, let her feel you, let her hear you. you. Erica Newsom, Thogs Neck Volunteer Ambulance Corps, Special Event Coordinator. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Next time you come by, let's, let's do some CPR <laughs> demonstrations, okay? Sure. We'll put some real people on the floor. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. We'll be right back. We'll take a break right here.